walk with you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so excited about today's video for a few reasons. The first being that it is a try on haul. I absolutely love hauls, I love shopping, and I love getting new clothes. Secondly, today's video is in collaboration with Blushmark. I've actually worked with them before. I love their clothes. I do actually have another Blushmark haul up on my channel. If you guys have not seen it and you are interested, I will definitely link it below. And the third reason I am excited about today's video is that I am highly, highly caffeinated. I have this delicious Starbucks drink that I got earlier. And let me just put you on real quick. So I got a venti iced chestnut praline latte. I got it made with almond milk. I got no whipped cream and I subbed the vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. It is a bit melted now, but guys, it is to die for. But yeah, in today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you all the pieces I picked out from Blushmark. I'm obsessed, guys. I already opened the box. I was too excited when it came in the mail. And I'm just so excited to style these a bunch of different ways. They are really great pieces for the winter season or if you live in a warmer climate, I mean, you can wear them as well. Here's the box of clothes. Like I said, I already opened it. I was too excited and I couldn't help myself. But before we dive right in, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not already. I do also have a holiday giveaway going on right now with a few of my friends on YouTube and it's currently open. So if you want to enter, make sure to check the details in the description box. And with all that being said, let's dive right into this haul. The first item I picked out is such a staple for the fall and winter seasons and it's super trendy right now. So I just picked up this plaid and navy skirt. It is just like a straight line skirt and it has two little mini slits in the front. It does land above my knee, which I really, really like. And it does also have a zipper in the back. I think this will be perfect for the upcoming winter months. Um, I might even wear this for like Christmas Eve or something. There's just a lot of different ways you could style it. And I am quite picky about my plaid, but I always have loved like a navy and red classic plaid look so the skirt is super fun. Here is just what the plaid skirt looks like on. I am very disappointed because it is pretty big on me like as you can see I've got tons of room in this skirt so I'm gonna have to hem this or try to exchange it for a smaller size I would recommend if you do get the skirt size down because I got a small thinking the extra small would be way too tight and the small is huge so I do absolutely love it and I love the little like slit detail right there but this skirt is very like schoolgirl chic gossip girl vibes I don't know like prep school the next thing I picked up from the website is a corduroy jacket. I literally cannot say that word properly, but corduroy, corduroy, okay, whatever. But it's just this beautiful rust color. As you can see, I have a thing for this color. I mean, I'm wearing it today, but I just think this is such an awesome piece for layering for the fall and winter season. And it is a little bit thinner than I anticipated, but honestly, it doesn't really matter to me because you can definitely layer up and you can also wear this when it is a little bit warmer because it's not so bulky and heavy. It has a little collar like so, and you can also obviously button it in the front. I just have it unbuttoned right now, but you will see it on. Here is just the jacket on. I am obsessed with this color. I think this is by far my favorite color for the fall and winter seasons. I just paired it with a basic knitted cream sweater, and obviously it's very buildable. You can layer up. It is a little bit bigger, so I think this runs slightly bigger than true to size, but with something like a jacket, you don't want it to be super snug anyways because you want to layer underneath. So I would say still order your size unless you want it to fit pretty tight, but like it's quite roomy and it's so cute. Kind of building off that similar color palette, I did pick up this little long sleeve crop top. So it is almost exactly the same color as I'm wearing again today. It's like a burnt orange color. It's kind of coming up a little bit redder than it is in person, but it just has a square neckline with this really pretty ruched detailing at the chest area. Um, it does look a little bit big for a small, and I am pretty petite. I do have broad shoulders, but the rest of my body is pretty small, so I'm not sure how this will fit. We will see when I try it on, but I think we can make it work nonetheless. So here is the top on. It actually fits better than I thought. It is a little bit big, like in the 
shoulder area, but it's nothing I can't handle. I feel like I could pull it off anyways. And I just paired it with this little suede squirt, so cute. Um, there's definitely a lot of things you could do with this top, and I just love this color. It's coming off more orange now, um, but it's definitely like a burnt orange, I would say. Clearly I have a thing for earthy tones because the next thing I got is very similar in color to the previous item. So this is just a pretty basic turtleneck and it is ribbed so I do like that extra detail. And you can obviously keep the turtleneck all the way up if you want and like bunch it or you could fold it over once or twice whatever you like and once again this does seem a little bit thin but I don't think that it will be see-through especially if you wear a nude bra underneath I don't think you'll be able to see it and you all know how passionate I am about turtlenecks I'm a big fan so had to get that here's this little turtleneck on love the color I have quite a bit of this color in my closet actually just because it's very practical it is like a neutral earthy tone so I feel like it looks really nice with my blonde hair and my skin tone I just paired it with these pleather leggings again style it any way you want but I also did roll over the turtleneck part but it does go pretty high so you can like bunch it if you like or you could fold it twice I would say this runs true to size I got a size small and it fits me really really nicely it does have a little extra room in the sleeves but that doesn't bother me it also isn't as see-through as I thought it was um, and I'm wearing a nude bra and you can't see it so I also picked up this really really cool like varsity styled crew neck so it's just this beautiful emerald green color I've come to really love this color but the thing I love so much about this crew neck is that it does have this detail at the neckline so it is like a black and white stripe and it does have that corresponding detail right at the bottom this is one of those items that is pretty basic but you can style it and make it look so cool it definitely gives me like Emma Chamberlain vibes and I love her so big fan of this very very excited and it is quite soft so I think this would be very cozy so here's just what the little crew neck looks like I paired it with a turtleneck I think it looks so cute and it is obviously just like a v-neck and like I said before it does have this same stripe detailing at the bottom but I just tucked it on in. I absolutely love this. This might be one of my favorite things that I got in this haul and serving me all the Emma vibes and kind of like Kelly Kapowski vibes. I don't know. I also picked up this really cool tie-dye long sleeve. So I am quite picky when it comes to tie-dye, but I absolutely love the detail of this top. It does kind of remind me of like Shibori technique. I took a fibers class a couple years ago and I absolutely loved it. I learned all the dyeing techniques, but I can't quite remember exactly the technical terms. However, I did dye a piece of fabric that had the similar technique to this top and I think it's so cool. It is just like a white top with some maroon dye and it is a bit cropped so it will lay nicely with my high-waisted pants. So here's just the top on. I just paired it with these pleather leggings. Obviously you can style it however your heart desires, but I just thought this looked kind of edgy and cool. Um, the material itself is just polyester, so it's not extremely breathable, but it is very comfortable and it does obviously fall right above my belly button. I am 5'1 for reference, so it might be a little more cropped if you're taller, but just keep that in mind or size up if you want. It does fit true to size and yeah, I absolutely love this. This next top I was so excited to get and I'm kind of scared that it's going to be way too big but it's just this polka dot blouse. It does have this gorgeous open back detailing so it ties at the bottom and then it has obviously like a high neck and it just clasps like so but it looks huge and I don't know if it's going to fit me and I really hope it does because this was one of the items I was most excited about. I just think this would be such a lovely top for so many different occasions and I am a huge fan of open back so you will have to go braless in this top but that is no problem for me. I'm just hoping that it fits and that I can wear it out and about when life goes back to normal, whenever that is. So the back is definitely big, like you can see it's kind of falling off my back. So if I take it in, I think it should fit, um, but I got a small, so I would say size down for this one, but it's so cute. Like, I love that open back detail. It looks so, so stunning. This is just what the top looks like from the front. It does have like a slight puff, but there's no padding in it. Um, just adds a little detail, and I really, really love this shirt, but it is a little bit big. Like, 
if you can see I'm pulling from the sleeves and it's just a little bit baggy. I do really love the high neck detail but a little bit too big. It runs probably a size run big so size down if you do decide to get this. I'm going to try and exchange it for an extra small because I got a small on this size. And the final item of this haul is just a basic black turtleneck. I used to have like four black turtlenecks in my closet. Not sure what happened to them. Maybe I lost them. Maybe I left them somewhere. It remains a mystery, but I definitely needed a new one for my collection. This is such a staple. And I know I've said before that I need to stop buying so much black, but I can't help it, guys. Especially a black turtleneck that is a staple in your closets. And last but not least, here is the black turtleneck, you know your basic black turtleneck. It looks and fits as you would expect. It is true to size um, and it is full length which is really nice if you want to like tuck it into jeans. I feel like an Asian in this, like a spy, like Kim Possible who? I know she wears like green but you get the point. Add a pair of glasses and you look like a philosopher? I don't know. I'm the biggest fan of turtlenecks. Love them to death. They're like my favorite thing in the world. Even though summer is my season, I do look forward to turtleneck season every single year. But we have reached the end of today's haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am so excited about all these items and I do have a coupon code for you guys, like I said, so you can get 20% off using this code right here. It is valid until December 30th. So you can shop your heart out and use that code for 20% off, which is a wonderful deal, especially during this holiday season. Once again, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not already. Make sure to enter my holiday giveaway. Again, I will have all the information below in the description. Let me know which item was your favorite in today's haul. And I think that wraps it up. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next Vlogmas video. Bye guys.